Hey guys, a sheikh that does not know what the second largest sect within Islam believes in? But we don't worship him. But we don't worship him. We don't call on him for help. Damn it. So where is the divide between the, the Shias and the Sunnis? Sneeko, this is one of the most beautiful questions I have ever heard from a revert. And unfortunately, you were lied to by this man. I don't know why. I don't know what his intentions are, but it does not look so good, does it now? The strange thing is that the sheikh did not tell Sneeko to go and do the research himself. It was basically, what I say is what the truth is, and that is not how Islam works. Just because you have the title Sheikh does not mean you are right, and we're going to prove that right here, right now. Shia Islam is the second largest branch of Islam. It holds that the Islamic Prophet Muhammad designated Ali ibn Abi Talib as his successor, Khalifa, and the Imam, spiritual leader and political leader after him, most notably at the event of Ghadir Khum, but was prevented from succeeding Muhammad as a leader of the Muslims as a result of the choice made by some of Muhammad's other companions, Sahaba at Saqifa. This view primarily contrasts with that of Sunni Islam, whose adherents believe that Muhammad did not appoint a successor before his death, and consider Abu Bakr, who was appointed caliph by a group of senior Muslims at Saqifa, to be the first rightful caliph after Muhammad. Adherents of Shia Islam are called Shia Muslims. And this is where I would advise brothers like Sneeko and all new reverts and even our Shia and Sunni brothers and sisters to do an independent research about this section here. Shia Islam is based on a hadith report concerning Muhammad's pronouncement at Ghadir Khum. Shia Muslims believe that Ali ibn Abi Talib, Muhammad's cousin and son-in-law, should have been the designated successor to Muhammad as Islam's spiritual and political leader. This belief later developed into the concept of imama, the idea that certain descendants of Muhammad, the al bayt you definitely have to research them in both Sahih Hadith and Shia Hadith, are the rightful rulers of imams, whom Shia Muslims believe possess special spiritual and political authority over the Muslim community. The point here is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses the messengers and the prophets of God and also the leaders after the Prophet Muhammad. Else we will have people like this spreading misinformation about our own Muslim brothers and sisters. Later events such as Hussein ibn Ali's martyrdom in the Battle of Karbala further influenced the development of Shia Islam, contributing to the formation of a distinct religious sect with its own rituals and shared collective memory. You will not find anywhere within Wikipedia here, within Shia Islam, that they worship Imam Ali. I don't understand why Shaykh would lie to us. Could anybody please comment down below and let us know why the Shaykh would lie to Sneeko and all of his audience members. This actually is kind of embarrassing because I have to go out of my way to defend our faith because supposedly a trustworthy sheikh is out there spreading misinformation. Here are the Shia Islamic beliefs and practices. Okay, here we have the theological principles. Tawheed, the oneness of God. Sheikh, now why didn't you bring this up to Sneeko? We all know what Tawheed is, right? So I don't have to go any further, I don't think. Divine justice, number two. Number three, prophethood. Number four, imamat. And number five, the day of resurrection, the day of judgment. The ancillaries of the faith. Salat, prayers. Psalm fasting during the month of Ramadan. Hajj, zakat, khums, jihad. Commanding right and forbidding wrong. Forbidding what is evil. Tawalla, love of faith and the chosen of God. Tabara, disassociation from the enemies of faith and God's chosen. Shaykh, where does it say that the Shias worship Imam Ali alayhi salam? But that's not all, folks. He knows more about the religion of Christianity and Judaism and all other faiths except the second largest sect within Islam, which is Shia Islam. He has no idea what they believe in. I have... Uh, all different types of Bibles. I have a Greek Orthodox Bible. I have a Catholic Bible, which has different chapters, right? It has chapters that are not in the uh, Protestant uh, used King James. Or Does the Catholic Bible have the same 42 and 22-year-old era? They do. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, that almost so that's the one thing Christians can agree on. <laughs> there are errors, yeah. yeah okay. um, the, some of the newer translations are taking those out, like NIV is taking it out, but they have other contradictions that are still there. But the manuscripts have them. You know, so I mean, it's not, you can't get around it. You know? So, uh, yeah, um, hand me that, Yusuf, on the right. So um, where is the divide between the, the Shias and the Sunnis? Look, uh, I have, look, uh, I have, but we don't worship him. But we don't worship him. I don't think Sneeko buys it. Just look at his eyes.